Okay, we'll see if we have more people. How is everyone? Everyone is okay today? Hello. Yes, yes oh, okay. How, how I, hi, Brian, nice to see you. There you go. Hello. It's hot today. It is quite hot, it is. Can't complain. Yes, it is quite hot. Uh, I've been doing some stuff in my garden in the morning uh, with my kids, with my daughters, Mela and Lily. We were, jump with, we, we were jumping on a trampoline this morning. So <laughs> I feel a little bit sweaty. <laughs> okay. Um, shall I invite... Um, I know I usually should invite uh, Glenis because she doesn't know how to do um, how to join us, so she waits for the for the link. So I send it to her right now. We still have, we still have a couple minutes before we um, we start. Officially, some water. So let's. Oh, we've got a couple more people waiting, and Alan and Margaret and Jenny. So we are oh, actually three people. So I'm just putting them in. Hello, Jenny. Hello, hi, Margaret. Hi, Aggie. Hello, can you? Can you see us? Because we cannot see you. Oh, and we've got Jenny. Hello, Jenny. We can see you. Oh, we see Margaret too. Good. <laughs> and Alan. Hello, Alan. We can hear you, I think, but we cannot see you. Can you put your camera on, please? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome, hello, <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you all people. We've got, let's say, let's wait maybe a couple more minutes for, for maybe for anyone else who, if, if anyone else would like to join us and then we will start. Kathleen coming. Well, is Kathleen going to be on? Uh, yeah, she was. She didn't say any apologies, so I think she will. I hope so. And I just invite, send an invitation to Glennis because usually she's she waits for the invite. Oh, I've got more people joining. Let's have a look. Who else? Oh yes, Kath is coming. Um, okay. I can, oh yes, Kathleen's coming. Hello, Kathleen. Hello. 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 Hello, how are you? Yes, we are all good. So I can see we've got 12 people right now. We'll see how many more will, will come. Uh, yes, but it's lovely to see such a lovely faces today. And it's a, it's a lovely day. So hopefully we'll have a couple more, we'll see. Well, all this weight, you know. <laughs> uh, but you know what? It's two o'clock. It's one, one minute past two. So maybe we can just do like a um, housekeeping stuff and introduce each other. Um, and then we will introduce Jenny. And if anyone else would like to join us, then I will just allow them to, to join the meeting. Okay. So welcome back and hello to new people uh, to our uh, weekly virtual uh, Zoom meetups for highlights. And these meetings are for people to just have, have a friendly chat or different conversations around different topics. And today we have a Jenny Dodd who's um, uh, chair exercise and chair dancing instruct instructor instruct instructor. Yeah, <laughs> okay. doing language. well. So doing sometimes, well. <laughs> sometimes it's not easy to pronounce the words. <laughs> um, 
Yes, uh, and just before we start, would it be okay, is everyone okay if I will record the session so we will be able then uh, practice the exercises after the this session and we can share it um, with uh, other participants who couldn't join us today and also we can um, share it on our website and, and uh, other social media channels. Is everyone okay with that? Yes. Yep. yes. Okay. Can you put your thumbs up so I know that everyone's okay and uh, everyone's happy with that? Brilliant. Thank you so much. I've got Glenys who's joining us. Just give me a moment. I will just connect with her. Oh, hi, Glenys. We can hear you. Can you hear us? Hello, Glenys. We can hear you. If you know how, can you put your camera on? Okay, I'm not sure if Glenys can hear us, but I, she's definitely in. So let's hope she will be able to hear and then maybe she will be able to put the camera on. Um, and then let's, uh, that's my daughter, by the way. She's usually with us. Her name is Mela. Um, Hi. Hi. So, um, so shall I, shall I, shall I uh, now introduce Jenny Dodd? Uh, can yes. I, okay. Yeah. Hello, Jenny, and Hi. it's on to you right now. Oh, great! Thank you. So, um, I'm coming. I'm sitting here in my living room. I live in Torridge, quite near Great Torrington, and. Um, I want to share with you some chair exercises. Um, and first of all, I just want you to make sure that you've got a chair, you know, that you're comfortable sitting on. It doesn't matter if it's got arms, it doesn't matter, but just be aware of what's around you. So I just want you to have a look around the space around you and just make sure that you've got room to move. I've got a plant here. Things like that. Yeah, just have a move your arms around you. Yeah. So I want you to just, um, this is all about just having fun. I think um, it's for about 20 minutes, is that right? 20 minutes-ish? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. And can I just say that um, I will mute everyone so it will be easier for everyone to, to hear you? Yeah, that's great. Or can anyone, can people, or I can mute everyone, but Jenny, can you make sure that you are unmuted or I will unmute you? Um, okay, I've I've just um, okay. okay. Can you all hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Brilliant. Great. Thank you. All right. So yeah. Again, just make sure you've got space around you to move, and make sure you're on a chair that's pretty comfortable and that you can um, move back into the chair so you can get your bum right back in the chair or perhaps you can sit forwards a little at different points. We're going to start off just sitting back comfortably on the chair and we're going to start off with our feet, so important these feet of ours, and we're just going to tap our foot so we're going to tap our right foot, just tapping on the ground and our left foot, tapping. Excellent. Easy? Great. So we're going to do eight on each side, four, twos and twos and singles. So I'm going to count with you. So we're going to go like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Two, one, two, one, 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 one. Obviously, I can't see your feet, so I'm just going to have to assume that you're all doing that. <laughs> so I want you to just reset again and get your feet nice and comfy on the floor so that you can perhaps hold on to the chair if you can and push down with your feet a little bit. So that automatically makes us sort of sit up nice and tall. Because we want to start getting into those deeper core muscles that help us, um, you know, like pelvic floor and all those deep core muscles. And we're going to do this again 
and thinking about those deep core muscles as well. And what can help is holding onto the chair and just giving a little bit of a pull there. So you already feel like your shoulders have moved away from your ears. Yes, so we're going to go again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one. Good. Now all together up with the toes. We're coming up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Flex those feet and down and up and down and five and six and seven, eight. Now that is a funny exercise and it works this muscle that's here on the front of your shin and it's the muscle that makes your foot flex um, like, it's like when you're stepping over a paper curb or something. It's the one that flexes to lift you up, to lift your foot up. So let's do that again. We're going to go up with our toes, down, up with the toes. Up, good, and up, good. Double time, up, 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 <laughs> six, five, four, three, two, one. And just relax. I hope that you felt that muscle working there. It's very neglected, that muscle. <laughs> All right, great. So we're gonna pick our foot up this time. So we're gonna point the foot up in the air, lift the knee up and the other knee up. And you might want to sit forwards a little bit in the chair, just get so you can comfortably lift that leg up. And it doesn't matter what you're wearing on your feet, if you've got soft shoes or bare feet, you can point your toe. All the time I want you to think about lengthening nice and tall upwards. And guess what? We're gonna do that same movement pattern again. So coming up with the right foot, up and down, and seven. Good. Six, grow another inch. Five, and four, and three, and two. Good. Good job. One, other leg. We're going up. And seven. Good. And six, and five, and four, and three, and two. Guess what? Four on the right. We're going four, and three and two, and heave, and other leg, up, <laughs> and up, and three, good, four, two now, two, and one, and two, and one, singles now, we're going up, and up, and up, and up, good, just relax for a moment, <laughs> and I think some people might think that chair exercises are, you know, easy but I think you're hopefully beginning to start feeling those muscles working because so you can work really well on a chair. Um, we're going to come up now on the balls of the toes so we're going to come high so we're wearing stilettos everyone. Put your high heels on. <laughs> up on the heat on the balls of the toes heels down. Up on the balls of the toes heels down. Up on the balls of the toes Heels down, can you feel those calf muscles up? Good, and again we're going eight, and down, and seven, and down, and six, and down, high heels five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Yeah, so maybe here you can start to feel that you might be able to tilt the pelvis a little bit, maybe find those, uh, Deep belly muscles in the belly there. Good. Okay. So again, thinking nice and tall, channeling your very tall, elegant person. And we're going to come down, up, and over. So I want you to imagine there's something you really want down there, but you can't quite get it. <laughs> 50 pound note. Both sitting bones on the chair there. Try not to let one lift off. And then come up. Use your muscles to come all the way up and relax. Big breath in at the top. Breathe out. Relax the shoulder. 
Yeah, and then come all the way up. We're doing that one more time each side. Big breath in, relax the shoulder, relax the arm. Let the arm just dangle. Maybe you can get a little bit closer, don't fall off the chair. Coming all the way up. Good job, and up, and over. And coming all the way up. So we're trying to here get into the obliques, those side waist muscles here. As you come forwards, make a big circle, reaching out towards me and back. Great, I can see you moving now. <laughs> I believe you now. Come forwards and back. Both arms forwards, like we're doing breaststroke. Good, and back. And then we're going to take a hand down as if we're going to reach a little bit forwards, press down with the feet, and come back. Good, we're coming forwards. Hinge at the hip, and back, up and over to the side. There you go, and all the way up, big breath in, and up and over. Keep this bum on the seat, and up we go, back to the start. We're going out and round. Good. And out and round. Good, yeah. Now breaststroke, we're going forwards. Yes. And back. Good. And to the ground. Towards the ground. And back. Just wherever it's going to be good for you, we're going forwards. And back. Up and over. To the side. Da, da, da. Back. Good. And forward to the side. Great. And we're going to add to this. I'm just going to move my chair so you can see what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to look around over my shoulder there. I've got both feet down on the floor, got my knees over my ankles, and I'm just looking gently. So you get a nice feeling in the back here. Looking round and to the centre. And take it the other way, looking round. Yeah, good. And to the centre. Lovely. All right, all together. We're coming forwards and wide. And all the way in. We're coming forwards and wide. And all the way in. We're doing both arms. Maybe you forgot them. We're coming all the way in. We're coming forwards. And all the way in and forwards, and up, and all the way in. What's next? Up and over and side. And you could have an elephant's ear. All the way up, elephant's ear and side. Well done, everyone. Coming in, and then we've got our twist to the back. And coming in, and we've got our twist to the back and coming forwards. Take a big breath in here, nice and wide. Oh, and then give yourself a hug. So we're gonna give ourselves a smooch side to side. <laughs> Have a little slow dance with ourselves. <laughs> side. <laughs> Yeah, and five, and six, good, great, good job, excellent, great. So let's move to our shoulders. You know, our shoulders, we can, depends what we're doing during the day, but sometimes we can get them a little bit tense up with those muscles back there. So first thing I want you to do is just hold on to your elbow, and just give your shoulder a bit of a rub there. See what you can find to just kind of rub into, and see, oh. <laughs> <laughs> there might be some areas there that might need a little bit of a massage. It definitely is for me. No one else is going to do it. <laughs> so give one shoulder a massage and it's good, good to help you even push up with the other hand there. Oh, that's a good bit. <laughs> and then when you're ready, taking the other side. Yeah, seeing what you can find there. Good. <laughs> Gonna be here all day doing this bit. 
Excellent. So taking the hands down. Yeah, and we're going to start to breathe in. Bring the shoulders up to the ears. And then, uh, yeah, breathing in. Uh, big breath in. And uh, let the shoulders relax, yeah. We're going to circle the shoulders and take this as nice and slowly as you like. Finding perhaps a little, maybe you can even hear your shoulders moving. <laughs> Rolling back, good, excellent. Okay, let's take the right shoulder up, left shoulder down. Other way, da, da, da. Yeah, we're going up and, and down. Down we're going. Eight, a seven, six, five, four, three. Now, just double check and do this again, but we want to press the feet into the ground. There's a fly, bee buzzing around. Press the heels and the balls into the ground and really sit nice and secure on your chair there. So I want you to grow up like you've got a really long back here, like you're hanging. Got real good posture, yeah. And let's do that again. We're going to bring one shoulder up and relax the other one. And then switch and switch. And try just to move the shoulders, nothing else. Switch and switch and switch. We're going up and down and up and down. And five and six. Circling now, we're circling all the way back, and you can just make sure you've got room, you're not going to bash your elbows. Circle and make nice big circles with the elbows there. So we're going eight, good job, seven, six, oh, five. Four, a three, and two, and one. Yeah, just relax the shoulders. You might feel like your shoulders have just gone down a little bit from your ears there. <laughs> all right, so maybe we can bring the hands all the way up here. Big breath in, and then coming all the way down. We're going to work through the wrists here. So wrists come up. This is our dying swan exercise. Da, 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 da. Reaching through the wrists, and if you can only do one arm, or not, if you just want to come up this far, that's that's perfectly fine. You just, as long as you're, as long as it feels good, that's all that's important. Good. So we're going up, two, three, four, and down. Press down with the feet as well. Up, two, three. Let the shoulders just glide up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, down. Now we've got our swan here. We've got one wrist over the other and we're working through. <laughs> got your point shoes on. <laughs> yeah, and taking it side to side. Can you feel your arms start to work? Should be feeling it up through your muscles there. Good. And we're going to switch hands going up, working through the wrists, the wrists, the wrists, the wrists. Great. Good job. Yeah. Coming back to the middle. And let's just put hands on the knees. Lovely. Great. Okay. We're going to push through the wrists here. And I want you to just feel, make sure your hands, you know, if you want to stop and give them a, a rub, do. But we're working those muscles in the fingers, pushing through the palms. We're going five, <laughs> seven, I can't count. And five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Now opposite, we're going eight, and seven, and six, and five and four, and three, and two, and one, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, 
and three, and two, and one, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> well done. Okay, so let's leave the hands for a moment. Actually, before we do that, let's just circle the wrists gently. So we're circling the wrists. And see if you can imagine that you're painting a circle, perhaps with your thumb and then your pointing finger, middle finger, your ring finger, and then your little finger, and then painting with your whole, all your fingers, the tips of your fingers, circling one way, we're circling the other way, and then circling any which way. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> So we're going to bring this down and concentrate here. So we're going to the pointing finger, the middle finger, the ring finger, the little finger, and working our way through our fingers here. So we're going finger and finger, finger and finger. I'd love to be able to see these fingers. Great, thank you. Da 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 da. -da. How fast can you do it? <laughs> Play with castanets. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, give your hands a rub together. Yeah, and let's place the hands onto the knees here. So we're going to move upwards and we're going to move up towards the, the neck and the head. And I'd love it if you'd join me looking to your right like an owl. And back to the centre, six, seven, other side we're going, eight, seven, six, good. And back to the centre, four, three, and again, we're going four, three, two, one, and back, two, three, four, and side, two, three, four, and back. Two, three, four. Now ear towards the shoulder. And coming up. Ear towards the shoulder. Press down through your feet here. So even just doing this, you can keep this, get this tone in the belly there. Ear towards the shoulder. Good. Ear towards the shoulder. Yeah, and then this time we'll do it and you can just perhaps put your hand on the opposite shoulder and just feel how that's a real nice release here. Yeah, and take this, this is a really good thing that you can do, you know, anytime when you're feeling, especially if you get a headache, when you're feeling a bit stressed, you can just kind of do this. And coming all the way up, we're going to circle this time. So we're coming chin to the chest. And then we're going to circle ear to the shoulder. So chin to the chest. And ear to the shoulder, chin to the chest. Now what happens if you just let some of the rest of the body join in? And you could open the legs a little bit. And come side to side. So we're making a C shape with the upper body. Good. And circle. And whole body circles. One more time. Circling six and seven. And eight. back to the center here. And we're just going to do something that uses the whole body. Come forward a little bit on the chair. So we've worked all the way up, we've done hands, feet, the whole body, the head. This time we're going to sit forwards a little. I'm a little bit forwards in the chair so that I can move my legs. Excuse me, you. <laughs> going to come out and in. And out. And in. <laughs> out. And in. Out. And in. we're going out and in, out and in, 
and five and six and seven, eight. Holding on to the chair, we'll sit back a little bit. We're going to lift our feet up here. Uh, it's like we're doing, um, like we've got flippers on and we're flipping our legs and we're going eight, seven, six, five, four, thigh muscles, three, two, one. Just relax, we'll do another set of those. Can you feel those thigh muscles? If you can't, then just sit back perhaps a little bit more. We're coming up and flex. Now we're opening the toes. And close. Open the toes. Hold on to the bottom of the chair. Open and close. Toes open, close. And again, open and close. Open, relax to the center. Good. Excellent. Now point the toes with going. Flip. This. <laughs> it's the closest we're going to get to swimming without being in the water. <laughs> and up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done, good job. All right, let's take a breath in. Breathing in all the way up. And then breathing in. All the way down. Think kind of a bit like Tai Chi. We're breathing in. All the way up. And a big breath in. All the way in. Great. And just putting our hands on the knees, pressing down through the feet, lengthening up nice and tall. Great. And give yourselves a, a clap. Well done, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you. you okay? <laughs> How was it? Did you yeah. like it? Was it okay, everyone? <laughs> Thank you so much, Jenny. Perhaps Thanks we... so much. Thanks Thank for you. joining me. Thank you. That was really, really nice. And, you know, I feel... Because I've had some pain in my back for, like, for the yeah. last two days. I didn't sleep well because I sleep also with my youngest daughter. She sleeps with us. And obviously, I think I slept yeah. like that because she was taking all of the bed. So <laughs> I still feel it, but I think it's, it's better now. So thank yeah, you. It's, it's amazing what you can do, you know, for yourself just by moving a little bit. But I always find that I need other people, you know, to exercise like that with. <laughs> Makes it easier. Yes. Um, uh, I, I think maybe people would like to give you some questions. Some people will have some questions. So if anyone have a, has a question, can you please put your hand up and then... Um, you know, I know who has a question and I will, um, uh, you know, we will know who, who can go first. Does anyone have a question to Jenny about those exercises or anything about how you, we can do those exercises in the future? Oh, everyone's okay? <laughs> Kath, do you have a question? Does it matter whether your feet are on the ground? Or I had a difficulty keeping my feet on the ground. Yeah, flat. they it's kept quite wanting useful. to lift up. If you have a chair that means that you can sit and it yeah. supports your knees, then you can press down in the ground and you can yeah. move from there. Um, but it it can take a little while to find the right height of chair. I think that's the problem. Yeah. Put your feet off the ground. <laughs> Were they up high? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. I had, to, I had to sit forward to get the feet on the ground. I yeah. So what you can do is put a cushion underneath your feet. Yeah. Or, or books or something so that you've got, um, you know, like I, I'd use this... Um, 
this is a, a, a yoga block, so I might have a couple of those under my... Yeah, I, I think that would help, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. I will have to do the same, because I've had the same problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite interesting, because we, you know, we spend a lot of time sitting down, and a lot of our furniture is, you know, I have my favourite chairs, because I like to be able to be, you know, this chair is meaning that already I'm sitting in a good position. You know what I mean? I don't know about you. <laughs> and Jenny, I, I also have a question. Um, do you have any tips how we can um, relax our backache when, because these days people spend a lot of time sitting at home, watching TV, just being locked down. So yeah. do you have any useful yeah. tips what people can do while, for example, watching TV and sitting to relieve the pain or tension on the back? Like a couple of tips you could give? Yeah, them? definitely. So um, one of the main things is to, to keep moving. Um, you know, even if you're watching, and I, I, I do exactly the same, just even um, having a move side to side is, is beneficial. But going back to the height of the chair, it's also, and it's, it's the same as true when you're driving as well. You, you, it's, good to, it's a good idea every now and then to press down with the feet. Because when you press down with the feet, I, I don't know if I can show you very well here, but if I press down with my feet, it means that I tilt my, um, my pelvis tilts, I'm exaggerating here, but it means that I'm already you get it because quite often we have backache because of our we lose strength in our bellies um and so that just starts to engage those muscles a bit more which relieves our lower backache um another nice thing there are lots of okay, but another really nice thing is if you um uh get a tennis ball and just kind of press into that or get someone else to roll it up and down those muscles in the back. But the main thing I think is keeping, just keep moving every now and then, just little bits, of, just even a minute every hour, or, you know, just a little bit. Maybe just put uh, some music on you like, and just move, you know, maybe some of these things that we were doing. Just squeeze you up, because, yeah, we can get really knotted up. I know. <laughs> I do it sometimes. Sometimes I'm just sitting there and I suddenly realise I haven't moved and I'm cold. Do you ever get that, anyone? You think, oh, I'm really cold, I haven't moved for ages, and you walk like, oh. <laughs> yes, thank you. That's really useful. <laughs> That's really useful. I, I think I will, I will need to remember to, to move myself a little bit because uh, yeah. I, I tend to just... And I think I, I don't know what about other people, um, uh, but I think I don't do right posture when I sit as well. I'm like, <laughs> so I need to remember yeah. that as well. I don't know why the body does that. It just somehow we get into habits of sitting and then we don't realize until, until after we've moved that we've been sitting uncomfortably. But you know, you might think that sitting like this is quite, you know, it's quite rigid looking, but it's actually the way our bodies move. And it's also really good for when you want to stand up. I know it's, I know it's easy, obvious stuff, but that movement of standing up from the chair, we didn't get on to doing those. <laughs> Do that in the advanced class. <laughs> Squats. Oh, okay. <laughs> So that would be something we can do as well. Thank you. Does anyone, does anyone else have a question? Jenny, you have a question. Uh, we can't hear you, Jenny. I don't know. Oh, can't hear anyone. Uh, Jenny, did you, ha did you hear Jenny? Because I didn't... Can you hear now? Oh, yes, we can hear you now. Yeah. Um, 
Well, I was just saying about, um, I've been doing lots of gardening and then I find the next day I can hardly get out of bed because mm. my, my back hurts so much, but it wears yeah. off after a while. Um, I mean, I know there's proper ways of bending down, but, um, you know. Uh, I think a warm bath is, yeah. You can't underestimate the powers of a warm bath after gardening, even on a even on a day like this. Yeah. I think having a real nice warm bath with salts, bath salts or whatever, it helps so much. Yeah. I know. I know. I've done it myself. <laughs> you have to get those weeds out. Yes. I just think I'm very unfit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you. That was very good. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Good. Any more where questions? Sorry, Jenny, you were saying? Oh, I was just asking whereabouts you are, Jenny. Um, I live on a hill, top of um, Wheatlands and Penwill Way, oh. uh, by the Leisure Centre in Paynton. Oh, you're in Paynton? Oh. Yeah, good. Oh, good. It's nice to connect across Devon. Yes, yeah. Where are you from? So I, I live on a farm near, in, in the middle of nowhere, quite near oh. the middle of uh, Jenny, would you be okay to share your contact details with people so they can, if, if anyone's interested in um, yes. maybe more exercises with you, with your group? Yes, definitely. And so maybe we, I have a class on Friday mornings. Um, and I can send, I'll send you, a, I'll email you the link for it. You're very welcome to come along. It's a Zoom session like, like this one. That would be great. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for giving this experience to us. Um, um, I really enjoyed it. So I hope everyone as well did enjoy it. Um, and please stay, stay with us for the rest of the session. You feel free to stay with us for the rest of the session. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, now we will be just, you know, having a um, friendly chat and asking people how everyone's do has been doing for for the last few days. And um, so yes, and we've got few new few new people, so maybe we can also introduce introduce each other to each other. Um, so I can see Jan Renshaw. Can you say hello to everyone, Jan? And can you tell us where you're from and how are you doing? She's muted. She's I, muted. I think she's not muted, but she's quite far from the laptop. And no, she's muted. If you can no, she's, put she's the muted. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, we can hear you. I live in Marlborough in Wiltshire. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, um, I'm in my sitting room here. And I've got a dog, a spaniel dog. And I know that lady there, Jean. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been spending um, lockdown knitting. Oh, what have you been knitting? Well, it's been very difficult. I'll get it and show you. Okay. <laughs> if I can find what I've done. Oh, here it is. Because I know one lady from um, Highlights Group, she's been knitting for premature babies for the hospital in Torbe. And she's been knitting oh. um, uh, clothes or maybe hats. Oh, oh, oh wow. look at that. That's oh. nice. It's a uh, Scottish wool, and I'm trying to knit a thing called a cowl. <gasps> wow. It's like a kind of um, tube. Scotch. Oh, it goes around your neck. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's lots of different colours, and I keep getting muddled up with all these wool so where did the wool originate from it's not is it come from dogs or cattle no, it, no it's sheep's wool and um, it is sheep's wool my son sent for it from uh, the lake district oh lovely north of england yeah. yeah and it's a strange pattern i haven't seen one before like it oh oh goodness me oh my goodness <laughs> So I didn't really know how to do it. If anybody can tell me, it would be good. Well, I think 
square represents one stitch. So you have to <laughs> work it over the pattern. Bit that looks complicated though. I've, I've yeah. never done one before. I've always had it telling you now knit, now pearl, now this. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's also, good. you have to work the pattern yourself, almost like cross stitch. Then, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Is it cross stitch? No, it's uh, this is rib the bottom. Oh, oh my goodness, it's lovely. Um, this is um, normal pearl, you know, plain on that side and pearl on the back. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, that'll be lovely. Mm. <laughs> it is pretty amazing, I have to say. <laughs> I've never, I've never done any knitting, so I have no idea how to do it. But I remember my mum used to do it, but I don't really know. And I'm not sure if I have a patent. <laughs> okay, that's me done then. <laughs> thank you, Jan. Uh, thank you, Jan. Hi, Natasha. I can I, I can see you next to Jan, sitting next to Jan on the Zoom meeting. So, how are you? Can you introduce yourself as well to uh, the rest of the people? Oh, we can. We cannot hear you somehow. Can you unmute yourself, please? Yeah. Oh, Hello. yeah. Now. Yes. Hi, my name is Natasha. I live in. I live in beautiful Tidmouth. Oh, nice. Um, and I've been to the back beach today. It's beautiful down there. And my dog, I've got King Charles Spaniel called Molly. It's Ruby Red. She's my baby. So we've been out to the beach today and had a sit and a nice coffee and sat in the sun, absolutely stunning. So it's beautiful, lots of people about. It's been lovely to get out in the air. Being a lot better this week than last week. Glad to hear that. Back at work next week. Next Wednesday I go back. So good. Yeah. All good. Are you a teacher? Sorry? Are you a teacher? No, I'm not. I'm a support worker. I work with um, people with learning disabilities and special needs in their own flats. In the community. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Tash. Okay. And next to Tash, we have uh, Jean. Is that the correct pronunciation of your name, Jean? Are you, are you talking to me? Um, not Jean Sharp, another Jean. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Jean, can you, Jean, ask Candy to unmute you. Is that your mum, Jenny? She's my mother-in-law. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello, Jean, can you hear, na, hear us? I can see you waving to us. <laughs> Hi, Jean. Hello, we can hear you a little bit. We can we just we can just hear you a little bit, but yeah, we can see you waving and doing exercises with us. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see that. Um, thank you, Jean. Valerie, hello. How are you? Can you introduce yourself to everyone, please, and tell us where you're from? And I'm Val. Val, short for Valerie. Um, I live in Timmouth. Oh. Um, and I too have been along the beach today. It's lovely out. Um, I'm a big walker. I walk 20 miles every day. Wow. Day I've stayed wow. in because well, this is this Zoom is on, so it's a, a rare day for me to be sat down. Um, I've not lived here long, and I've moved from South Wales. And I've been in Wales 20 years, so... Um, wow. Wow. I've never been to Wales. In Timmouth, do you live, Valerie? Where about in Timmouth do you live? Um, Pomosa Road. Oh, you're near me. I'm, I'm in, oh. in Wales. <laughs> we can literally wave to each other. I'm in Coombeville Road. I'm in I'm the big there. house, right up in the roof. Right, there's a, like a skylight. I'm right up high. It's very hot. Oh, no. Yeah, bet it is. Yeah, I know you are. I love gardens. I love I love being outside. So it's hard being in a flat with no garden. I'd, I'd love yeah. to be out there. And where where, where where do you walk to in Timber? Where else do you walk to? 
Oh, I I walk um, Newt Nabba, Torquay, yeah. yeah. Chudley the other day. Oh my gosh. Oh, right. At this rate, we'll be tracing. No. <laughs> oh, brilliant. I just keep on walking. <laughs> <laughs> have you, have you seen the film Forest Gump? Yeah. <laughs> I, I just I keep on film. running. Well, oh. I just keep on walking. Lovely. <laughs> you all live peaceful where you are. Sorry? It's a very beautiful part of the world where you are. I think there's there's a downside. It's all up, down, up, down, oh, up, yeah. down. Very hard to walk. <laughs> oh. well, maybe maybe one day when when we can see each other when the lockdown is over, maybe one day you can take us to one of your walks. I yeah. finished all off. <laughs> she and did so she did say it was 20 miles. I yes. know, maybe we can join you on one of the tops. Yeah, lovely. And then we get an ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe if, maybe we could do like like a shorter shorter walk. Maybe you can you know, adjust your walks to our um, uh, abilities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that would be lovely to do something together when we will be allowed to do that. I like, I like Paynton. I like walking along the seafront at Paynton. That's a lovely walk okay, to Brixton. Yeah. So let, let's keep this as a promise and let's, let's, let's do it once we can, okay? Thank you, Val. Thank you. And nice to see you today because I know you've been trying to join us and that's yeah, really lovely to see you. Thank you. It's Thank great you. to see you at last. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to see you too. Jean Sharp. Hello. Hi. Um, I'm Jean. I live in Dawlish. Um, yeah, not unfortunately not overlooking the sea. Uh, but I like gardening. I've got a garden that keeps me amused. Um, I do have problems with my legs at the moment, so walking is not an option for me. So, um, yeah, that's basically me. Thank you. And Brian, hello, Brian. Hello. Hello, can you introduce yourself to people, please, and tell us how are you doing? My name's Brian. I've lived in Devon for... I used to live in Oxford. And oh, wow. my, Oxford. Mother, my mother and my father wanted to get nearer to away from Oxford for health reasons. So we bought a what did we buy? Oh yes, we bought a news agent shop in painting. And unfortunately through the Hill Health and my father and my mother, we had to pack it all up and we lost a little bit of money, not a lot. Um, it's one of those things. Hello, the feeling. Best, um, <laughs> the best thing you can do, he said, Brian, is pack it up. That's what we did. And luckily, I managed to I managed to pass on all the paper rounds that I had <clears throat> to another news agent in the in painter and. I managed to we managed to sort the, sort ourselves out that way, and unfortunately, not only did we lose the news agents, we actually lost the flat which was above it. So luckily, oh. one of my mates that I got I used to go used to go to the Queen Vic with have a drink at the weekend he said I've got a little a little house he said 
I called it Doll's House. <laughs> <laughs> that was in Roseland. That's nice. So um, we decided that would be a good idea, so we went and lived there for a couple of years. And that was up and down like this. <laughs> and my mother was getting difficulty walking and we needed to get on a bit lower down. So then moved into um, Headland Grove in Paynton. That was quite interesting. It was a big house, big Victorian house, that was split into two houses. And we had the down, downstairs part of it, which was very good. It was, um, it belonged to the Baptist church, which was quite, ha quite handy because that's where we used to go, me and my mother, um, to the Baptist church. And, Yes, that's how he managed to get that that um, that house, and we stayed there then until I got married in two thousand and two. Then I've lived in Torquay ever since, and now I'm living in Bishop Stainton. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, look at that, no posh. Yeah. Very <laughs> posh. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, it is posh and Bishop Staten. Um, it's very expensive as well. Yeah, and we, we live just opposite the um, Bishop Staten Primary School. Oh. Cool. Nice. So I like all your plates behind you. Oh, the plates? Yes, we got one or two there. Um, most of them... <laughs> to do with um, oh. war. There's one complete set of the dam busters. There's nine of them. And yeah, we've got different different things. I've got pictures around the place. It's a bit funny. Mainly because my wife's father joined the war flew in, spitfires and that, but he wasn't in this country. He was stationed in a place called Bulawayo. Now Bulawayo is in Rhodesia, which is now in Zimbabwe. And he was there. Some of the things he did, he used to fly, he used to fly to Burma, and pick up um, injured injured soldiers and bring them back, and then he, they got transferred back to to England eventually. Um, that's what that's what he used to do. Oh, well, that's really interesting. Brian always has uh, interesting stories to tell to us. Last week, Brian and Kath they talked to us about um, stamps collections and. Brian showed us and told us actually about his collection and then Kath joined him and uh, she showed us, did she show us um, a German uh, stamps collection she's got at home and it was really, really interesting session. So if anyone would like to see that session, I'm happy to send you the link because we recorded it last week as well. So yes, thank you, Brian. Hello, Kathleen, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> can you I'm be fine? Good. Can you can can in talk? Um, overlook. I'm not sure if. I'm yeah, me too. I've I I didn't hear anything. Uh, yeah. And I live in Turkey. I lived here for about 10 years, overlooking the harbour. Very nice place to live. And a uh, couple of minutes from the beach, it's very nice. So the sun is shining. What, what's not to like? <laughs> did, you go, did you go for a walk? Um, not. I'm going, after this, I'm going to check on the swans. Oh, yes. We have the swans to check, yes. And um, I'm going to send you some 
pictures of those swans. Kathleen kindly sent it to my daughter, but I asked her I asked if, if I can share it with other people. So you said <laughs> yes. So I will. I will. I will send you some pictures of, of the swans, and they, and hopefully they will be able to. You know, they will hatch. The, the eggs will be. You know, we, we'll see. Not not looking good. No. Oh no. 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 Gonna have a bad ending. No. Oh, shame. We'll see. Hopefully, we'll see. Hello. Let's, let's keep finger crossed. Yeah. Thank you, Kathleen. Hello, Alan. I've got you next to Kathleen. Hello. Can you please tell us a little bit about yourself and how are you doing? I'm Alan. I also live in Hermosa Road in Tingma. Oh, do you? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Been out this morning, met up with um, Jeanette from the Hope Project and another chat for the Hope Project and uh, had a virtual walk around and um, mm. chat, copy that down uh, on the den. Nice. Thank well, you. I actually see someone. That's good. Thank you, Alan. Uh, Glennis, can you hear us? Glennis, can you hear us? I'm not sure if Glennis hears us, but she's with us, so hopefully she, she hears us. We're saying hello to you, Glennis. And Margaret, hello, Margaret, how are you? Hello. Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Um, my husband and I are both shielded, so we're not allowed to go anywhere until the end of June. But I did sneak out this morning because I had an appointment at the doctor's, so it was really nice to get out and sort of be a little bit like normal. Yeah. But we've got a, we, we've got a nice garden now, we've got a fish pond, and um, we've lots of fishing, and I spend a lot of time out there looking at the fish. And we just had a new lawn laid, so that makes it look even nicer. <laughs> Brilliant. And that's in Timoth, of course. <laughs> yes, that's great. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for, for, for telling a little bit about yourself and introducing uh, to each other as well, because we've got a couple new people. Um, so um, I know we've got just a couple minutes left. So maybe instead of asking you for what you've had for breakfast, because that's what we usually do. <laughs> but um, I believe you've had, had a breakfast. So instead of that, maybe I would, we can discuss what you would like to have for the next session, what you would like to do. Does anyone have any ideas? What can we do next week? Please put your hand up and maybe speak up so I can see. So mm -hmm. Alan? Hello. Did you say something? No, I, I said whatever. I mean, I, I'm pretty easy going, you know that. <laughs> yes. We all, but you know, we need some ideas. I don't know, shall we come back to uh, another quiz or maybe can we have a talk about something? Val, you have an idea. What about talking about plants and gardens? Anyone who's interested in things like that or nature? What we, what we love. That would be really nice. Then, um, does anyone would like to contribute to this talk, or shall we just have a free chat about uh, gardening and and you know tips for for gardening? I know that. Um, uh, Chelsea Flower Show uh, is mean, was launched the, last week to have a, like a virtual um, tour, so we can maybe do that as well. While, while when we will be talking about um, plants and gardening, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, please tell me if you have any, you know, if you would like to. Um, does anyone know more about flowers, Val? Do you know some? I was going to say it's not for everyone, is it? it it's only a suggestion. Not not. If, what what about places people have travelled to? <laughs> Talking okay. about 
travels mm. that's always exciting it is me. isn't it yeah so, so why won't we vote who would like to do plants nature gardening next week and then who would like to do um, um, talks about favorite places so let's start with the plants and gardening who would like to do it next week and i will count people one two okay i've got two people who would That's like <laughs> and who would like to do a uh, favorite places they people have been to and talk about um the, you know holidays or travels one two okay well, i think travels are correct uh, four people, I think. Any other? So we've got four against two, and a few people didn't vote. What that means? That you don't prefer this, or you just don't know what, which one? <coughs> Kathleen, I think you are muted. Just uh, let me. In. Yes. Yeah. No, I'm happy with either. Oh, okay. Brilliant. So let's talk about. Why don't we do both. <laughs> Oh, we can, yeah, if time, we can do both. Definitely. And or either. Yeah. You could do either, whatever you want. Yeah, I think we can start with um, trips, favourite places to be. Maybe people can bring some pictures. If you have any pictures of your, your favourite places, we can, we can share. And then if time, we can talk about gardening, but if we can always, you know, we can always leave it for the next following session. So it will be like an easygoing se uh, chat next week with everyone contributing about their favorite places they've ever been or they would like to be with some pictures if you have any or some um, uh, souvenirs you brought from the holidays or from, the, from, from your visits. And then make some gardening if we have a time, okay? Yep. Yeah. Brilliant. So thank you so much for today. I'm sorry I kept you like a little bit longer for this for that session. Uh, but please stay safe, stay well, um, and hopefully I will see you next Tuesday, two o'clock. And I will send you after the session, I will send you a link to our uh, session, to this session with lovely Jenny, who did uh, her exercises today with us. And thank you so much, Jenny, for joining. And thank you, thank everyone. You for me. So, bye, goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. See you next Tuesday. Bye. 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 Get out.